Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough for Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way. We're actually going through the appendix, which is called the Command Line Crash Course right now. Uh, you can get there by first going to Zed's website, which has the complete text of his book, at Learn Python the Hard Way, then clicking on this little tree diagram hierarchy here to get the uh, index. I'm just going to scoot to the next tab where I have it open. This is the index, and he has the complete text of his uh, book here. You can also download it. Uh, you can pay to download it and get videos from his site also. I did that. I recommend it. But we're going to go to this one right here, Appendix A, the Command Line Crash Course. That's what we're working on right now. If you click on that, you'll go to here. It's a shorter table of contents. And right now, we're going to work on Exercise 6. That's List Directory, LS. If you click on that, it'll take you right here. Um, list directory or the list command is really just to say what's inside the folder. It's, you know, it's a piece of cake. And, uh, what we're going to do for this one is we're going to refer to some folders we created previously with the, uh, make dir, the make directory, uh, command. And so here's what I'm going to do. We're just going to follow Zed's instructions step by step. On the left, he says, do CD. Remember that means change directory. Actually, let's do something else first. Let's just do CD and with nothing, or you can do CD with a tilde if you need to. And that just gets you back to your home directory, your root directory. For me, that's the BP is the name of my computer. Uh, and the tilde means I'm in the root directory. And BART is, and the uh, dollar sign, that's just the name of my, my prompt. That's where it says type stuff here. And if I type PWD for print working directory, you see I'm in users slash bart that's my home directory or my home folder on my mac anyhow um i'm going to clear that out by doing command k there we go and let's do what zed says so he says first change to the temp directory now i've got the finder open down here this is my home folder right here and this down here is the temp folder i created you see it's got two folders in there now when zed was showing us how to do the make directory he only had us create one of them stuff I added another one, more stuff, just to, you know, practice doing stuff, uh, directories with a space in the name. And what it is, is you have to put the entire name in quotes. Anyhow, I'm going to do CD for change directory and then to temp. Remember, if you don't specify the path, you can only move up one level at a time. So temp is directly in the BART. That's, it's the next level. So I can hit that. And now you see that my prompt says BP. Uh, so let's name the computer colon temp because that's the active folder. The tilde up top means my home folder, which is uh, Bart. In fact, I'm just going to show you. We'll do. Okay, so you see where I am. Now, uh, this is where Zed wants us to enter our new command. LS stands for list. So I do LS. And look, it tells me that I have two things in there. I've got a folder called more stuff. You can see that one right here. And I've got another folder called stuff. That's just following his directions. By the way, um, the terminal is going to arrange these things in alphabetical order, going from top to bottom and from left to right. So it's going to be in columns of data. I only have two things here, so it sticks them side by side. Um, Zed says to go into stuff, so I'm going to do CD stuff. Remember, because I'm in the folder immediately above it, I can just type CD in the name of that folder. And then I can uh, list that one. And you see it's got one called things. There's things right there. And now we're going to change directory and go to things. And you can see on the prompt right there that I'm now in BP, that's the computer, and things is the current folder or directory. There's my prompt. And if I type ls for list, it tells me that there is a folder in there called Frank. If I come down here to the finder, the GUI, there's Frank. And in fact, we can also take a look inside Frank. There's going to be another one called Joe. So we're going to do CD. Um, we're going to go CD Frank and list. And it tells me that Joe is in there. And then we'll do CD Joe. And now you can see that Joe is the current directory. That's the computer. That's the current directory. And this BART uh, dollar sign is just the prompt. That says type here. And I got my little blinking cursor. And uh, let's see what is inside Joe. Do the LS, and I've got Alex. If I click down here, you see that is in fact the case. And Alex has another one in it called John. Let's do it. 
oops, sorry. Let's do CD Alex. There we go. Now I do list and it shows John. And I think that's the last one. Now you notice there's no other folders inside this. That's significant. And so you see there's nothing inside John. There's no directories, there's no files. Uh, it's interesting to note, so I'm gonna change directory here to John. And so I'm in John. If I do LS right now, you know, there's nothing there to list, so it doesn't do anything. Um, now, Zed then has us go backwards using the CD, and the dot dot means to go to the folder above. So John is inside Alex. So you see now I I just did the dot dot and now I'm back to Alex. And if I do it, uh, he says, and we can jump a few. This, by doing the dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot, that takes me back three levels. And if I hit that one, it takes me back to things. See, here's Alex. And we go one, two, three. There's things right there. And from there, Let's see, we can go back a little further. I ended up actually someplace different. I don't think I was following his instructions totally correctly. Nah, that's okay, we'll get there anyhow. There's stuff, you know, I'm just gonna jump to the end by doing CD and I'm back to BART. Hey, I wanna remind you, and then I can do the list contents. Now this one's gonna actually show a bunch of stuff because those are all the things that are in my home folder right here. You see from applications, down through Z vector, and it's gonna list those things right here. These ones are interesting because um, sometimes it lists stuff that's invisible, and I actually see that it's listing things in a curious format here. That is alphabetical up to that point. Anyhow, um, and there's one other thing I wanna show you. If we scroll to the bottom of Zed's page right here, he says, talk about something else. And he says, if you're on Unix and the Mac terminal is a Unix uh, thing, he says, do this command. And so what he's suggesting is that um, we go to the temp folder. Uh, if you do this in your root folder, it's gonna print out a billion things and you'll be sorry, but go to the temp folder and then type in this command. It's ls, and then we're gonna add this a thing called, it's actually called a flag. It's just a modification to the command. And I'm gonna come over here, and first I'm gonna change back to temp, cd temp. Okay, so I'm in temp, that's good. Now let's do print working directory, because we can, there we are. And while I'm there, now if I type ls like this, that's all that shows up. You see, I've got two things there. I've got more stuff and stuff. It's doing it alphabetically. And you can see them right there. But I can also do it this way. If I do ls, and then I put a, a dash or a hyphen, and then a lowercase l and a capital R, it's gonna print it out slightly differently. In fact, you can see what it's done is it's printed out a lot of information about what's inside what. So we have stuff and more stuff here. This information over here has to do with permissions that it's a directory, stuff like that. Um, there's the, uh, the username and there's my role. And there has that's its size, and this is the date that it was last modified, and that's its name. And then it goes inside them, and it starts giving a lot more information about what's inside them. So that's cool. Um, you can also um, do it without the R. Let's do it uh, LS. I just did the up arrow to get to that. Let's take off the R. And there you go. It's a little different that time. Now it just shows the one step in. And if you want to reverse it, you can do ls, and then I think a lowercase r will, you see now, this one we had more stuff and then stuff, this time we're doing it in reverse order. There's a lot you can do, and in fact, I'm just gonna show you something. Zed's gonna talk about this later, but if you ever want information on something, let me clear the screen for a second. And I'm gonna make uh, the, the terminal bigger here. If you ever want to, uh, by the way, I did that because I'm using a window manager that allows me to use the keyboard to change the size and position of windows. You type in M-A-N, that's manual, and then L-S, man L-S, and that's gonna give me the manual for the list files command. And here's all the information. And uh, it gets to the bottom, if you just, you know, you can move one line at a time by holding the return bar. You can just hold it down and it all scrolls up. And see, so there's the lowercase cell that we just barely did. And we go a little further. 
And there's the big R that lists the subdirectories. This is also the lowercase r just reverses the order. You can sort things by size. And there's a lot of stuff in here, and it goes on and on and on. And you can just hit a Q when you want to get out of that. Anyhow, that is the idea about um, ls command for listing directories. Hope that's been helpful.